because this is dry film, so wet should be applied double. So here we have, for example, for AV8, we have between 20 and 40 microns. It's what should be applied, it's the standard. And for AV30, between 50 and 100 microns. In spite of that, we only need, for example, 60. But we want to have a product for penetration as well, which is important. Because if we only have this enough, uh, there will not be penetration. Because you have two metals together like there, it has to go up between those two metals, up to 80 millimeters. Well, that's the Boeing standard is 35 millimeters like this, has to penetrate one and a half inch, let's say. But we, our all products penetrate, in fact, more than 80 millimeters. It's quite a nice figures. And uh, originally we have been using AV8 and AV100D on the lower lobe and this part of the aircraft down there. And you can see here as well on this chart, AV8 plus AV100. And this has been replaced now with AV30. You can still use those both. This is to be recommended for very old aircraft. But and the previous materials, or LPS, they have about uh, 20. So it's quite a big difference. And then we have 50, which is Kamek now. This is approved now by Boeing. It is uh, tested in laboratories, tested and spray out in, in production. Everything is OK. What we're waiting for now is, in fact, the paperwork and written approval. But it's delayed probably because we have not standard. They're going to write a new standard around AV15, like they have done about around AV30. The product was ready before the standard was written. When the product was ready, then Boeing wrote the standard. So it was a very interesting uh, situation. Are you sure and they will make a new standard for that? Yes. It will be yes. BMA 320, yes. 36, 30, I think, that I just heard the rumor, 334 or 336, yeah. Completely new standard. Well, they already created all the Yeah. And it's very good for us, you know, because you see, AV8 and AV30, we have some competitors already coming closer. There's two more products being approved. Uh, Bosch, uh, no, not Bosch, uh, no. Zipcam and uh, LPS. They're not that big as ours. We know that, we have tested it, but in spite of that, they're competitors. They approved, they can use it. But if the new standard came, we are absolutely alone again. Then we have a big advantage. And this product could be used all around, not like here, AV30 in uh, Bailey and AV8 in crown area, wings and stabilizers. Then this could be used all around for the no new aircraft. For example, here on OEM, instead of AV8 and 30, AV50 will be introduced. And for the maintenance, the older aircraft, I would still recommend AV8, but the newer probably the AV15 will be dominated. Beside that, we have uh, AV25, which is the only lubricating product. It is approved by McDonald's for protection of control cables, which are very, very sensitive because if you wash out the grease lubrication in the control cable, they get damaged because they have really big for stress on this. But this product is approved for this, and we are using it for control cables and movable parts. If you have movable parts, could be applied on all kinds of things, so it uh, has to be recommended. AV30, a single application, could be used in fact a little bit everywhere. Oh, here it is. AV40, special product, which is used to uh, resist high temperature. High temperature, I mean up to 200 degrees, permanent exposure. And we are using this uh, for APU system, around APU system, because normally very hot, which is, is in, in uh, operating during, uh, for example, when the aircraft is standing still. And then we have around cowlings, engine cowlings and pylons, that's also hit uh, hot areas. You can apply it on the bare metal, you can apply it on the paint, on the rubber or plastic, it doesn't matter, everywhere. What do they use that for? additional power units, it's, uh, it's uh, like, uh,